Well, as we head into the final couple of weeks of our Heart of America Conference uh, play, uh, a lot of games are going to come down to the wire. Uh, a lot of standings are going to be shifted around. Uh, Evangel coming up. A um, couple things about uh, the upcoming Evangel game. Um, one, it's our blow pop game, and it's in memory of a very dear friend, uh, Bill Holman, uh, decades uh, one of our top booster members, uh, he along with Martha, uh, traditionally uh, with blow pops with the team, and this is our second annual blow pop game. Uh, the other item will be uh, a recognition of our uh, longtime uh, Heart of America Commissioner, Larry Lady. Uh, we'll have a nice send off uh, from Central Methodist uh, to him uh, in between games. So. Uh, not only is this a big game for both Evangel and Central Methodist, but it's, a, uh, it's an important game on those two aspects as well, uh, which will make it e an even more enjoyable evening. Um, about the Evangel game, uh, both of us right now are sitting at third place. Um, two teams have really totally different uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, we've been a very hot team. Uh, a team that uh, has been winning, um, I guess by a thread you could say, we're not dominating uh, any uh, stretch of the imagination. Uh, Vangel has hit a snag where they've dropped four games in a row and all of those games are under five points. And uh, you're talking about a top uh, ten team for most of the year and uh, had these games not have happened, could still be a top three, four team in the country. So uh, Evangel's a very uh, scary team, and what makes them even uh, more scary now is the fact that they have had the two weeks uh, that they've had, and now the sense of urgency that every team has going into these games, and uh, they're going to be a very good ball team coming in. Of course, we won the first game in overtime uh, at Evangel, and I'd like to uh, do a quick shout-out to uh, uh, our All-American guard, Melvin Tillman, who this week was uh, named not only the Conference Player of the Week, but also National Player of the Week. And it's been, uh, it's been a number of years since we've been fortunate enough to have uh, a player in our program win that national level, and he's been playing phenomenal. I think this game's going to feature two of the best players in the conference. Uh, Zach Klein, in my opinion, uh, was one of the best players last year, uh, was the, has been the top player most of the season, averaging 23 points a game from Evangel. Uh, one of the most difficult matchups uh, I have seen in the conference in a long time. Uh, in my opinion, he's probably got the player of the year wrapped up, uh, up until probably the last couple of weeks uh, watching what Melvin Tillman's doing. So uh, it's going to be a classic matchup. Not that these two players are guarding each other uh, all the time, but you're going to see two of the very best players that the Harvard America Conference uh, has. Uh, again, this team being top 10 most of the year, they're a very scary team. They're, their point guards averaging 17 points a game. J.J. Williams to go along with Zach Klein's 23. And they've got a very good inside presence. Uh, Corey Tillery, who's also averaging about 15 points a game. Uh, they got the best motion offense uh, I have uh, ever coached against, and it's, I say that every year uh, going against Evangel. So they are, they're used to seeing a number of, of different defenses to counter that. Uh, we will be no different uh, in that situation. We will try to do whatever we can to kind of uh, stifle it a little bit. But it's an impressive team that's coached by an NAI Hall of Fame coach, uh, Steve Jenkins. Uh, so um, not only does the importance and the relevance of these games heading into this week uh, really start to multiply uh, when you're looking at what it's going to do for the finish, uh, it's going to be the best finish in this conference probably uh, since it was uh, started in 1971. We have five teams right now that at least on paper have a shot uh, at, at placing first or second place. And uh, every game is going to be crucial uh, in that aspect. And you, you can only, from our standpoint, our main focus right now is, uh, is Evangel University. But every game is going to be uh, so important. Um, our team uh, the past couple of weeks has just been phenomenal. We've won nine of our last ten games. 
again, we have not been a dominant team. Uh, I do not want to make this seem like that we're just walking away. We are just finding ways to win ball games, and I think sometimes uh, good teams do that. You you tend to create your own luck, uh, create your situations that you can control, and that's kind of how we've narrowed down a lot of our uh, philosophy here the last month is that uh, try to control the the things that we can control. Um, we're a very balanced team. Uh, even though Melvin averaged 33 points a game last week, uh, we still have five players averaging double figures for the season. And I'm hoping that um, um, that combination, along with some very good play of Melvin and Mitch uh, far lately, is going to make it a very tough uh, matchup for teams that we have. Two home games left. Uh, we're hoping for a nice rowdy crowd. We do have our student bodies going to be eating in the gym uh, tomorrow as part of a, a special feature from Fresh Ideas. So we're hoping that that'll help uh, attract a few more students uh, to both the men's and women's uh, ball games. Uh, both teams right now being nationally ranked uh, together is probably the first time since the late 90s. That's an exciting time for Central Methodist. So uh, this is going to be an exciting contest, uh, one that uh, has got everybody uh, on nerves. Uh, I know Evangel, this is a must win for Evangel. Uh, if they're going to still bounce themselves back and get back in the same position that they've been, this is really a must win for them. If we're wanting to finish the way we'd like to finish, uh, which may not have been talked about a month and a half ago, but at least obviously recently uh, we've had the luxury of at least considering it. Uh, this game is also uh, very important in being a home game, but it's going to be an exciting game for, I think, everyone involved, and we're looking forward to it.